Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. You might be saying, wait a minute Northern Lion, this isn't your prison. You had a much shittier prison that was running into trouble, and that's true! Which is why I sold it, which is why I have like a hundred and something thousand dollars. I sold it, and then I built another one, and I, you know, expedited... That's probably not how that really works, but I, uh... I did all the building and planning and stuff off camera, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. Now, I know some of you are gonna be disappointed you were attached to that prison. This prison is already about to get up and running, so you're not gonna miss too much, and I think it's a lot better. What's the main hook of my new prison? Well, uh, it's a little bit more outside focused. The fences you can't really see, they're somewhat ineffective, but I don't think we're gonna have too many escapes. Famous last words. Um, it's a little bit more outside based, so you're going to be spending a little bit more time outside. Hopefully that helps with their freedom stat a little bit, but doesn't give them a, you know, undue chance to escape. It has an enormous canteen here, but you might be wondering, why do you have another canteen kitchen down here? Another common room, another yard, another shower block? That's because, due to Alpha 25's changes where, you know, max security prisoners are pretty liable to, you know, stab somebody, I figured, why don't we have our own max security wing? We're only going to allow normal prisoners to come in, so the only time that anybody is going to end up in max security is if they get escalated. So I made it pretty small for now, only 16 cells. But until we get to like 200 prisoners, this should be fine. I thought about making like a second protective custody wing. I guess it would be a third wing at this point. Um, but I think we'd only have like two people in it at any given time. The way that this, in theory, should work is that the max security inmates should never, ever mingle with the uh, normal security inmates. Uh, w this might mean we'll sacrifice them being able to work and stuff like that, but if it means that we get more money because we don't have people getting stabbed all the time, that's great. Apart from that, uh, the ho so hopefully that works. Uh, big visitation room, huge kitchen up here. This canteen will handle hundreds of prisoners, I think. Uh, you know, we've got all the requisite stuff. Holding cell, this shower is like built for us to expand in this general direction. We're already at full capacitors. We've got all of our bureaucracy done, but I can't actually hire anybody until we let in prisoners, which is why I'm waiting until 8 a.m. here. And then we get, like, I can't hire guards or an accountant until we actually, um, get an income, because as of right now, we are making $70 a day, and it won't let me hire anybody else. I've never had that happen before. So, Pretty much right now, we're just waiting for prisoners to come in. I'm very excited to see how this works. We're going to need to hire guards right away because we have zero. Um, we have 36 prisoner capacity. And again, I'm not going to be taking in max security inmates. So this stuff might go unused for like weeks. And I'll pay for it. I'm fine with that. I think it's an investment that's worth it in the long term. Um, but uh, yeah, as people get escalated, they'll get put in here. So we have some stuff to do. Um, just, let's get the prisoners actually coming into our building here first, and then I'll explain what I'm gonna do. This prison has already cost me about $150,000. We had about two seventy, dollars and I think I've, you know, if you count the grant advancements that we've had, I've spent about $150,000 getting this prison off the ground. So, you know, we're not gonna get back uh, that investment too quickly doing $70 a day, and our prison valuation right now doesn't exist because our accountant can't be hired. We got one hour till uh, more people come. What I'm gonna do is set up a, uh, a block of solitary, and I guess people will mingle, not people, well, that sounds wrong, but, uh, let's put a, like, a staff door here. Um, I guess, uh, prisoners will mingle in solitary, but that seems like a relatively minor concern. Alright, Ed Palmer, nothing. Fearless, alright, that's scary. Tom Dillon, nothing. Charles Iron Fist Duval, he was found guilty of murdering every murdering everyone riding in his elevator after he claimed to have seen someone cough without blocking his mouth. He was charged with mass murder. Iron Fist, great name. Oh, do we instigator? You might end up in volatile. Jeez, man, you guys might end up being our first max security inmates. This is a pretty intense uh, haul here. So let's make sure we hire guards first. Oh, they actually will let us hire them. I appreciate that. We should be able to hire our uh, accountant now and put them in an office. Good. So uh, we had a bunch of grants just get completed. I'm going to hire more guards. Like three of them there. Uh, and thank you for... I'm just making sure our road gates actually work. Um, oh, don't leave them on the road already. I'm also going to look at some other grants because we probably got some complete. This one should be complete. It's just get prisoner capacity to 15. Done. Free money. Uh, prison maintenance. Once we hire a gardener, right here, just making sure I'm not putting him in a space where he can't do anything, that'll be done. Uh, so we can just click on prison maintenance. Health and well-being we're not quite ready for. Visitation rights, three visitors tables, pool table, TV, five phone booths we have. Uh, 
Prisoner acclimatization, no. Education reform, no. Cell block B, we need 50. Health and well-being, I suppose, will be one of the ones we take next. And then probably... We only need three guards to patrol Earth, so we'll take that. Okay, good. Let's uh, do some research in finance now. For land expansion in particular. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm just going to make sure everyone actually gets, uh, you know, sent out properly in our prison here. Takes a while to get them into where they need to go, but that's okay. I also, uh, I put a bookshelf in every cell. My thinking being that maybe this will uh, help out with the uh, recreation need that so many people seem to have been having a, a problem with. My prisoners seem to be having a problem with. There are some inadequacies with this prison. Our yard is really freaking small. Uh, our shower block is GD enormous, though. Um, okay, so one second. Just want to make sure everything's going fine here. We have patrols unlocked, I thought. Oh, we don't. Okay, so we'll get patrols. We'll just queue up a bunch of these. Like that, because we have the money for it. And then we'll start building new stuff. So let's take it down to speed 2 temporarily. And uh, we'll start brainstorming a solitary block. Now, I think we already have the clone tool. So we can take, uh, you know, like this wall right here. Do we need the back wall? We do. And this should make, like, some fully functional cells. Why is this off slightly? Because we don't need both walls. Alright. It wouldn't be a Northern Lion episode if I didn't bung it up somehow. Remove the... Please. Thank you. Objects. Materials. Um, Unqueue all of this. Except for that one. And objects. Oh, th there's nothing there. Okay, good. So we go back to the clone tool. We take this wall, but we don't take the top wall this time. That's just me being an idiot. No, this still is off. Oh, because it's... We don't need the top... Oh, my God. Oh, fight everything. I am an idiot. Get out of there. Materials. Uncue all these jobs, please. Okay. Clone tool. Don't take the top wall. What? This is this is fine. It better be fine, otherwise we're going to have a real problem. There we go. That lines up perfectly. And it gives us the opportunity to make some solitary blocks. Like... This, basically. And solitary rooms can be real freaking tiny. I don't like giving them one by one, just because there's not enough space for something that'll like handle their needs. A toilet, for example. I'm not going to put beds in these ones, just toilets. Uh, and we'll get to set up a toilet. So once we have solitary up and running, you know, I think our prison is pretty much good to go. I'm not saying set it and forget it. No siree. But I think it's pretty much, you know, it's it's a good start. I didn't mean to click on that, but that's okay. Um, so just let me make sure I got my pipe set up for these toilets that are going to come in here. And like this as well. Alright, this should be good. This will raise our capacity a little bit, and also now we'll have solitary blocks. Alright, let's go up to speed 5. So I'm just going to let the prison run for a day or two, and uh, we'll see how this works. And we're going to be able to let in prisoners pretty much, I wouldn't say ad infinitum, but we're going to be able to add in prisoners for a uh, at least a few days. We're getting 13 tomorrow, and then um, I'm hoping that we'll be kind of financially stable at that point. What is my next to-do list? I'm not going to chase grants as much as I did last time, I think. I think instead, I'm going to dedicate like a huge area up here to forestry, then have a big workshop here, and then an, a big exports area. And hopefully we can have a prison that actually makes you know a decent amount of money. So I'm just looking at our needs here for our prisoners. Food. Well, it will be dinner time soon. You can't really trust the prisoners on day one. Oftentimes on day one, they, um, they come in with their needs all weird, right? Especially if they sit in the truck for a while. So it takes a little... Uh, little time for them to kind of reach homeostasis, and that's okay. I'm very, very happy with this prison relative to uh, our last one. The canteen is not indefinitely future-proofed, but it's future-proofed for much longer than our other one was. It's organized a little bit better. Kitchen can actually have more people working in it, which is great. Um, visitor's room is, you know, crowded, but big enough. Staff room is big enough that hopefully people will actually take an opportunity to rest in it, although I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Um, did we have people eat already? I want to look at our regime. Oh, they're about to eat. Okay, so I, I have no doubt that we'll be able to actually feed the people that we're taking in here. 
If we're not, that would be very surprising to me, considering... Oh, you know what? We need to hire two more cooks. Yeah. And we'll put them down here. I think they'll actually go and help out... Um, the, the, like, they'll help out the kitchens as necessary, but this will minimize the stress on the people that cook down here and then having to, like, bring the food back up here. Because there's no food up there? Or very... Oh, finally. Yeah, okay. So the problem is that we have people, um... Cooking down here and putting food out down here, but nobody's coming to eat down here because this is max security only. I'm not surprised that that's happening. Um, that's why, hopefully, by hiring more cooks, that's that problem's gonna be mitigated somewhat. What's going on down here? It's all dirty. That's okay. Um, toilet's getting installed, and then we can go object solitary door. Boom, 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 boom. This seriously uh, took me like an hour and a half to set up. And that means that I'm bad at Prison Architect. But also, like, I, I'm really glad I didn't just do, like, Episode 1, here we go, we're gonna start planning it. Episode 2, watch my workers put the foundation down. Uh, but I really should have saved it after I got it going, just in case things went terribly wrong. Or go terribly wrong. Alright, patrols are done. Assign three guards, two patrol routes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. First one. We know where our problems arise now. Oftentimes, it's doors. One guard gets assigned to the ca- oh, two guards on the canteen. That's not necessary for now. One guard will be assigned to the yard. Like so. Uh, and that's gonna finish our- oh no, it's not. Uh, one- we should actually have maybe like two guards- oh, not there. On the cell block. Just to check it out. And like one here. And I almost feel like we should have one guard that just kind of like hangs out in the showers. This is the job that nobody wants. But hey, it's got to be done. Alright. So we're losing a lot of money on a daily basis. I could hire more guards and start chasing those grants, but I don't necessarily think it's uh, you know, the most important thing. I also don't think we necessarily need a medical ward yet until things start to go terribly, terribly wrong. I definitely don't want to have, you know, eight guards for 13 prisoners. That that seems financially unstable to me. What do we do next? Well, um... Maybe we will actually uh, expand a little bit and set up a, a medical ward. The question is where I want to put it. Because I want to keep people relatively close to the canteen. Relatively close to the showers. So that would mean, like, up here. But I'd actually rather have, like, a workshop up there. Hmm... Well, we could make, like, an industrial block. And we could build it up like this. Like, vertically. Uh, and we could have, like, laundry, cleaning cupboard, workshop. Let's do that. So I'm actually gonna do something that is probably ill-advised. We're gonna bust open the fence like this. And we're gonna build a foundation that runs up like this. And that's not going to be super huge. It's actually a really cheap uh, kind of addition to what we've got going on here. Especially if our workshop starts being able to produce soon. And we may want to have two workshops. One for work and one for, um, you know, the actual uh, uh, producing of, of exports. We could have a classroom in here as well. Alright, here come our new prisoners. We've actually got uh, a couple in plain clothes, which scares the crap out of me. Let's start. Christopher, nobody... I really thought that he would have a better uh, reputation or better uh, bio there. All right, no bios. Here we go. Sven Thorwan Haskell. He was an infamous hacker who got convicted for breaking into an Andromeda Research's servers, attacking its weak point for massive damage. Uh huh. -huh. He got caught because he failed to use log deleter properly. And uh, does he have a reputation? No. Okay. Tough and deadly. Paul Broomfield sentenced to six years for kidnapping. That sounds scary. Tough, stoical, and deadly. Are you kidding me? Adrian Corporate Lackey Ah Young. Corporate lackey specialized in corporate infiltration and espionage, known to have hacked into major corporation databases and earned millions selling data to the underground until caught in 2012 by MI6 operatives. Alrighty. Ed Scott. Oh, here we go. Manio Padron Caraballo. Manio was convicted for killing a man who accidentally killed his wife and daughter. Manio was and is convic convinced that his family was killed by the government. Manio has special forces training and is specialized in close combat and explosives. That's scary. Alright, you know what? Um, if you're tough and deadly, 
Congratulations, you're going to be our first maximum security prisoner. Tough, stoical, and deadly. Welcome to maximum security. Is that... I think that's it for, like, really nasty prisoners. One thing I do want to make sure is now for sure that we have a uh, patrol route set for maximum security. And that'll come through here. And, like, check in the yard, check in the shower, check in the canteen, check in the common room. We don't want four guards here. Probably two is acceptable. Uh, so I'm going to hire... Another two guards. Put them down here. Alright, so hopefully this allows them to police the maximum security wing uh, properly. We'll see, though. This is, uh, this is a good test for us. Our prison ran just fine for day one. We'll see how it does at day two. We have eight more prisoners arriving tomorrow. I think a, a big part of prison uh, prisoner architect... Sorry, prison architect that uh, people don't necessarily... Uh, think about because they don't the game doesn't necessarily teach it fantastically is um, we should also maybe have some guards stationed out here sorry this is my bad um, why this is like staff only or is it you can't reach it what's up with this uh, and we'll even hire some more guards to make this happen so why don't we just reach our uh, quota there we go uh, this is just so we can actually effectively get people off the trucks because it's taking forever right now um, but is, uh, you know, sorting your prisoners as they come in. Oh, I didn't look at the second, uh, second batch here. They look safe, though. Um, yeah, is, uh, sorting your prisoners as they come in, you know? If you see someone that is high security or, you know, high volatility, you've got to sort them kind of manually. The justice system does not help you out in this situation, apparently. So we have a bit of an issue here. I've created this, we'll call this the industrial wing of our prison. But how the heck do I actually get people to go to it? That'll require at least uh, making it not staff only, so that prisoners actually can, like... Yeah, prisoners can, like, walk out from uh, their own cells. Maybe we could put, like, a, uh, a door here, but then they could walk out and... I don't want them to be here. <laughs> um, Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Make, like, a fence... That's in uh, materials. That goes from like here to here, and then there will be a doorway here, and they can uh, they can't get in like this way. All right, and we do need to, like this isn't quite uh, filled out yet, so we're also going to need to put a door on that uh, industrial block. But we don't need to have our industrial block done right away, as far as I'm concerned. These fences are going to look ugly, but they'll be better eventually, is my thinking. All right. I would really prefer if you would take our prisoners in, like, through the <laughs> the proper channels here, as opposed to walking them in through the kitchen. That scares me a little bit. Please tell me we're actually able to feed our, uh, our prisoner here. Everybody seems to be getting fed. Slowly, albeit hopefully surely. Again, the first meal doesn't necessarily matter all that much, as long as they're just not hungry. Six prisoners have serious complaints. Those complaints are largely related to hygiene. Well, you that's what you get for freaking showing up at 8 in the morning. You should shower before you go to prison. It's just my hypothesis on things. Um, it's like 3, and we still have not managed to get all of our... Pri oh, Jesus. Open the door, please. We still have not managed to get all of our prisoners um, into their cells, which scares the crap out of me, because it means that we're like already super inefficient. Hygiene. Well, freaking shower. When's the next uh, free time? We'll mix it up. Right after yard, they'll get free time, and then they'll get a uh, little extra lockup. Like, oh, no, no, no. Little lockup like this. That way, hopefully, they actually choose to shower. I don't want to micromanage our uh, our situation there, but it's got to be done, and it's got to be done. So I say we put a regular door right here, and these are going to be big rooms, but that's okay because we want our workshop to be huge, basically. And good, okay. So we're going to demolish this right here. This is some creative expansion, and they're going to be able to get a little bit more outside than I'd like, but I think that's okay. You guys seriously, like, can't get in here? Oh, because of, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Put a staff door here in the fence. That'll sort things out a little bit. 
I spend so much time, like, seemingly micromanaging my own workmen. I'm just like, really? You built it! How'd you get in there to build it if you, you know... How are people supposed to learn how to make beds if they can't even fit inside of the building? Anyway, we'll let our workmen kind of, you know, percolate out there and get that done. 21 prisoners, we're actually making money. Please tell me that it's not hygiene. It's not hygiene. Now it's sleep and food. If you could just go this day without rioting, I think we're going to be in such a good position. We've worked out some small kinks. It's like mealtime? Yeah, mealtime. Are you hungry? No, you're very sleepy. Okay. Once you go to bed, you're not going to want to riot as much. That's my hypothesis. But people are getting ornery. Danger level medium. Don't do it. Don't riot. You're going to regret it. Lock up. Okay, now it's going to be bedtime. As long as nobody... Um... Oh, what do you got here? Oh, a drill and scissors? Where the heck did you get those from? Can I look at uh, where our contraband sources are? Scissors. Well, obviously, knife, fork, and spoon. You know what? I didn't want to have to do this, but families, you've made it so that I have to do this. Metal detector on the, uh, on the visitation rooms. This room is going to be real freaking crowded. Also, maybe like a metal detector here. Just so that uh, on the way in, we can also catch any contraband. So there's no shenanigans happening there. I might have to wire these in, so I'm just going to pay close attention. Mm, no, I don't. They automatically wire in. Good. Okay. This is good stuff. Another day in, in paradise here. We're making a little bit of money. So again, these are going to be, uh, you know, enormous rooms. Is this a little too big? How big would this be? Nine. Um, well, our workshop should be nine. We could even make it like... And uh, maybe like that big. And then we'll have like a small cleaning cupboard. I'm trying to think of how I'd like to orient this. Could do like like cleaning cupboard because it has to be three by three if I remember correctly. Cleaning cupboard, three by three materials. This is like four by three, so that's fine. And then. Uh, here, we'll have our medical ward. And then we want a laundry room. Which I think is fine here. Does it make sense to make our laundry this big? Probably not. So why don't we split it like more or less down the middle. And we could put like a classroom here. I think that's justifiable. And this is going to be a workshop. We'll take a couple of entrances here. Obviously, we're going to want to have metal detectors in this area. I think episode one is going pretty well so far. I'm excited. Um, you know, we have some extra money. Let's pay it forward. I'm going to get a couple more janitors just because we've got a big prison going on here. And I think that's good for now. And if we can get this all set up in like the first and second episode, I'll feel very good about, you know, the way that we, we've we uh, oriented this because we haven't had a riot or a death thus far. Pretty amazing, right? I think it's pretty amazing. These guys are getting pretty tired. You know, take a break, man. It's been a long day. So, cleaning cupboard. Needs to be inside? Yeah. So, we'll uh, definitely put a door on that one. And this is going to be our medical facility. We'll put a door. Not a medical door. Or, not a, not a staff door is what I mean. One, two, three, four. And uh, we'll make sure that we're actually designating these, ro designating these rooms uh, appropriately. This is going to be a workshop, uh, yellow? Yellow workshop. Here. And then we'll wait for the other rooms to get built just so it gets sorted. But for now, we need to let some people kind of recharge, I think. We've got another eight prisoners coming tomorrow. Why are people mad? What's, what's your problem? Hygiene. Recreation. You have free time and we have common rooms. Is it just that the common rooms suck? We'll read a freaking book. I could, you know what, let's take this opportunity, better sooner rather than later, right? We give them a little bit of extra free time in the morning. How many hours of sleep? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Give them extra couple hours of free time in the morning. Uh, then shower. Oh, jeez, don't do that. Then shower. And then uh, eat. Them not eating in the morning seems bad to me. And we'll give them a little less lock-up time, a little more free time. And let's see how this works out for us. I want to give them three meals a day, just because, you know... Full people don't riot? That might be a misconception. So we have laundry and classrooms. So this one's going to be a classroom here. And we'll get this all decked out in the next episode. It is big enough, thankfully. Just barely. And, uh... Are we not... Did we? Those walls are coming, yeah. I hope that laundry's big enough. New prisoners arriving in two hours or so, and that's when we will end this episode, I think. But I'm very impressed with the way that this went down. Setting up the infrastructure like this right off the bat, I think, was a good idea. And I'm hoping that our, um, our split prison ends up working out nicely for us. I thought I had two maximum security prisoners. Just one? Who was the other guy? We have one in low risk. Uh, excuse me? Where are you? My low risk friend. This is a guard, yes. Where's the... He's in a different colored shirt. I'll wait till they shower. Oh, I can't see them when they shower. Did I accidentally put him in low risk instead of high risk? That's alright. We'll wait for, uh... We'll wait for the prisoners. We'll wait for them to go to the canteen. And then I'll pick him out by his shirt. It was probably I meant to put him in maximum security instead of minimum. I know prisoners are have just arrived, but I need to take a look at our needs. Recreation. Man. Alright. Oh, another plainclothes person. Scares me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's what I like to see, nothing. Barry, 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 Carlion. In the grim darkness of the far future, there was only bacon. Due to this bacon was rationed. Barry, Barry, Barry was sent back in time to serve time for bacon-related crimes. Well, I'm not going to put you in maximum security for loving bacon. God knows there's a lot of people guilty of that. All right. Please tell me we have enough guards here to actually get the prisoners off in an expedited fashion. It seems like we do. You're eating. Where is, uh, where is Shirt Man? Did he become a guard or something? Like, I, okay, zoom in. Where are you? Oh, there you are, in the holding cell. Oh, it's because I don't have any space for you. And you were tough and deadly. What's he, he's, no wonder... This guy's freaking mad. Get into medium secure. Oh, maximum security, sorry. And rejoin the freaking population here. Yeah, he has no bed or anything. I accidentally uh, misdesignated him. Pretty sure our workman might get slaughtered here if he just comes in. Okay, please. Yes, thank you. Good job. What's going on there? We uh, built a medical ward. Now we need to hire two doctors. That's all right. All right. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, uh, my apologies for restarting the series, but I think it's going to be a positive thing in the long run and hopefully financially works out very well for us. Again, if you did enjoy the episode, it is episode one. Click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.